For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip with the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another offense for you guys today out of my New Orleans Saints offensive ebook. To me, the Saints is still one of the best offensive playbooks in the game, although when the season started, I really was disappointed with some of the formations that they took away. Uh, today, though, I'm going to show you guys another run-heavy offensive scheme, as well as a scheme that you can really get a lot of explosive passing plays out of. Now, the formation we're going to be focusing on today is a strong slot flex. They only have one strong formation in this playbook, but it's a really good one. You're going to want to make sure that when your substitutions come up, you're going to have a running back at the fullback spot the faster the fullback the better and then as far as my audibles go the top two plays are going to be the stretch and the fullback dive the toss is also a really good play although this is something that um, probably has a higher percentage chance of you getting caught for a loss so that's something that i'll probably use sparingly and then last but not least the passing play this is a one play touchdown against just about every single defense in the game it's the pa post shot so those are pretty much uh the most important plays this is a very run heavy formation you're going to pound the rock pound the rock pound the rock and then you're going to have this this play here which is going to give you a lot of flexibility when it comes to passing uh, which is basically going to be your home run so you're going to draw that user forward then you're going to hit him over the top with uh, with big plays the fifth play I'll pick up pick the uh, halfback dive and then on the defensive side we're just going to go with uh, random 4-3. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOEH.com. If you guys want to get your Mutt team up, I know the uh, the winner promos are dropping now. Check them out. Links in the description below. You just kind of code money to get 3% off. It's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market. So, as far as the uh, the run plays go, the dive is a really important play. I'll get to that in a minute. I really didn't mention that uh, too much early on, but you're going to basically, you know, for the stretch run, especially a formation like this, where there's no cornerback outside, this is going to be the best time to run stretch or even a toss i would say if you're running a man coverage and there's nobody out here the toss might be best although there it looks like they ran commit but you can see i still get outside of it so anytime there's no cornerback out here that's one of the few times that i would say run the toss any other time you're gonna run into problems so if you have that look, if you have a look where there's where, where a toss, or like even like this, a double blitzing safety, I would say a toss once again would be a good look because they're going to be coming in right at the gut. This will give you an opportunity to try to get outside. The toss play is a really good run play out of this formation. Like I said, just has the capability that you couldn't get shut down and take a loss if you're not careful. So right here, like I said, this is not a good look for a toss. We have a cornerback outside there. He'll probably come down and cause problems. You can see, I mean, I could still kind of get outside because I have a little bit of a speed advantage, but it's not necessarily going to be a big play. But the toss is a really good play it's one of the better toss plays in the game here we have a cornerback really tight you can see this is more of a look where i could probably you know basically seal that edge with a stretch so here because that cornerback's in so far i should be able to get those blockers on that and then the stretch is going to be a really good run so that's really the basis of this formation you have a lot of really good plays when it comes to getting outside uh, and you can also motion across one of these receivers if you have a zone coverage like here this is a man coverage so it doesn't make a ton of sense to motion this guy across but if you have a zone coverage and you want to give yourself a little more of a blocking advantage you can always motion across this b route you cannot motion across the other receiver he does not motion across just keep that in mind but here's another play i could try the stretch safety's in the box he probably could get caught up in the wash as you can see i mean i pretty much just get a lot of blocking you know it's just a really good blocking play the stretch play and the toss play so the bread and butter of this really is going to be the stretch and the toss but you have some really good inside runs as well and i'm not going to focus on that right here once again it looks like we don't have that cornerback out here uh, the toss like i said this year i'm really going to go with the stretch because we do have a tightly packed box and i find the stretch will probably give me the best opportunity to get outside as you can see boom we get another very big run right here and uh you know there's really only one guy safety a lot of times is keeping from 
scoring, but we're still getting hellacious runs, a very explosive run formation. Now, the blunt dive is not a play that I went over too much. There's a couple of really good inside runs, the fullback dive and the blunt dive. Anytime you have a look like this where the linebacker is reacting to the receivers pre-snap, he's kind of aligning over that, you can basically just hit him with a fullback dive and have a very successful inside run. Uh, you're not necessarily going to always get the biggest run, but it's still something that you can take for five yards a pop. And that's pretty much how you decide what to run, whether it's an outside run like right here, uh, toss or a stretch would be good because it looks like we're in a man coverage. There's no cornerback outside, once again, because of the two receivers on the left side. Or you could also run inside. The two receivers on the left are also kind of creating space for a potential fullback dive. I mean, there's a lot of different options you could go with here. And then you can see it's all being created by the, the alignment, the formation with the two receivers. So here we definitely don't have any, uh, you know, cornerback outside there. The safety's playing kind of back. Let's go and let's hit him with a toss. Like I said, this is really all about this guy laying this dude out. And then you can see, I mean, this is just a really easy play. So, you know, obviously your opponent is probably going to try to take away those big runs. That's why you have the counter, which is going to be these inside runs. So to recap, the stretch is good against anything really, except for cover two, with hard flats especially. Um, but the toss is really only going to be good when there's no cornerback outside. So this play here, I mean, I don't really have a great option inside. They're kind of packed up. Obviously, the stretch is going to be the best run here. Uh, and then I just need, uh, you know, a little bit of blocking to set up. And you can see, once again, the cornerback drops back, gives me that outside lane, and it's just a really easy run. The fullback dive is really something you only use, like in a situation like this where the linebacker is reacting to the safety pre-snap or you got short yardage. I mean, it's not really something that you're going to get a, a huge amount of yards every time. As you can see right there, if we're getting four or five yards of carry. Um, that's a good run, and I'll take that. That's really just a play to set up these outside runs anyway. Here, looks like we got that cover three. We're going to hit with that stretch to see the edge seals. And, you know, we just have some really explosive runs to the outside. That's really the, the basis of this formation. The only pass play you need is going to be the PA post shot. This is definitely the best one. And on defense, we're going to start off with random because there's a really good uh, setup you can do with this that works against a lot of different defenses. So let's go and let's pick that. Now, you can create a very good concept with this play where you basically just motion this B right across. This is the only route you can motion across, by the way. Uh, and you can either put them on a streak or a slant. Now, the slants are really good against man. If you do this setup here, this is a very good man beating setup with the B route and the X route. If you have a man zero, there's a lot of different things you could do with this. You could also put them on a streak and then you can put the RB route either on an out route or, you know, you can basically create a concept like this. Um, so, like I said, this is something that, you know, I still got my running back into my fullback spot too, by the way, which is important when it comes to the passing plays. But there's a lot of different things you can do with this particular play. So, if somebody's running a lot of man or a lot of cover four, I would say keeping him on the slant is pretty probably best but if it's like a zone coverage like cover three or cover two i would say having them on a streak and then having the fullback on a shorter route either that or a swing route an out route or swing route all really works out this is a man coverage obviously because the cornerback followed but that's why i was saying this route here is a very good man beating route so if you have a man zero or a man cover one that route's going to be there pretty much every single time but the slant and the post combo are especially good man beating plays that's this is one of the best man beating concepts you're going to be able to find. So let's go and let's do this again. Like I said, it looks like we have that man covered one more time. Man one. Like I said, you got your slant. I probably would have had the post too if I waited long enough, but the blitz was kind of coming in. The formation pretty much gives away the whether it's man or zone anyway, but if a cornerback follows, it just makes it that much easier to figure out. So this is pretty much going to be another man coverage. Looks like it's probably a man zero. As you can see, the safeties are coming in hot. And we can basically just hit this guy over the top again uh, for another easy uh, big play. So that's something that you can run against just about any defense. But this has a lot of specific one play touchdown applications. So let's go ahead and let's go and start off with Tampa 2 like we always do. So against most coverages, I'm going to be making this motion with Brown when I bring him in here. Um, and then the A route here, I just have to put him on a 10 yard out route. That's all I really got to do. Put the B route here. I like to put him on an out route or even a drag. Uh, really works out well. And then you're going to see how, you know, this safety here, even though he's lit up, he's one of the best safeties in the game, he's going to play down more than he should. And we're going to get right over the top. Now, that was actually better coverage than I'm expecting. Um, there's a lot of different setups you can do here to get this guy open even more. Let's go ahead and let's motion this guy across. You can put the B route on a slant also. You can block the A route entirely and do this setup, uh, which you're see the b route once again pulls that safety down this is something where i mean i don't know that, that was kind of a late throw i don't know what happened there i tried to bullet pass that up it really didn't work out as well as i wanted to but you can see how it gets open very easily like i said this motion is going to be something i make in a lot of different defenses the slant and blocking the a route is probably the best way to go because uh, now i have additional blocking and you can see how the x route here is just wide open although i don't know i'm not really getting the best time to throw i'm not really sure why i'm not getting more separation but you can see i'm getting a lot of separation so it's definitely working out also works against cover two man as we'll find here 
Whether it's man or zone, the cover two safeties will work the same. So that's just something to keep in mind. And then you can see, boom, we get the guy right over the top. Although, once again, a little bit of pressure on my face, which is weird considering that I have so much blocking. But I guess all the extra man defenders are blitzing. You can see we get right over the top. So let's do that again. I said, hopefully we'll have a little bit more success with protection. Like I said, the extra man guys look like they're blitzing. And then, like I said, this is the route. I mean, the post route is one of the best routes in the game. You can see we're getting right over the top against pretty much any cover two defense. Also gonna have a lot of success against cover three. So let's go and let's pick cover three sky. Now, when it comes to cover three, this setup will work uh, well, but it's gonna be a short side bomb. A lot of cover three plays, you really have to know where you are on the field. Run it from a certain hash mark to a certain hash mark. This particular play, you're gonna run it from the short side, from the hash mark to the short side of the field. And all you're gonna do is motion this guy in again, put the B route on a streak. You can see how the receivers are different. Like if I motion from the open side of the field, the receivers are aligned differently than if I do it from the short side of the field. If I do it from here, you can see that they're really kind of on top of each other. But if I do it from the other side of the field, uh, the outside receiver actually goes past the slot receiver. So let's go and let's, you know, you see the difference here. Like I said, this is something that it really bases off of where you're on the field. So that's important. But basically run it from the hash mark to the short side of the field, streak the B route, put the A route on a 10 yard out route, which is a, an out route and that's smart routed. And you're gonna see how you're gonna have a lot of success once again. Like I said, this is very dependent on where you're on the field, but you can see we're getting right over the top of that cornerback. Uh, we got another easy one play touchdown against cover three. So cover three, cover two, we're bombing it up on all sides. Works the same with cover one man. Obviously, I mean, we already showed that the uh, the post route was having success against man coverage when we were doing random plays. Pretty much the exact same setup. Motion this guy in, put the uh, B route on a streak. You can put the A route on a drag or something if you want to check down. Uh, but ultimately, this is pretty much going to be the play every single time. You're just waiting for this X route to cross. And then you can see we're pretty much just getting an easy one play touchdown against, you know, any man coverage. The, the post route's a really easy one play touchdown against man. Has a lot of success against cover four as well. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick cover four quarters first. Now this play here working against just about anything. Just put the B route on a 10 yard in and then put the A route on a comeback. That's all you really got to do. If you do this setup here, you pretty much have a one play touchdown to the X route every single time. So it'll pretty much just run right past the safety just as long as you can buy enough time. So this one here, I mean, they actually covered. If you don't make adjustments, it actually gets covered pretty well. You can motion this guy in the same way we've been doing. I think if you do that though, it's best to put this guy on a 10 yard out route so they don't get in each other's way because sometimes they're going to be aligned kind of tightly. And then you can see here, once again, the X route here um, can get right over the top. It's, these safeties just don't do a very good job. You just have to isolate them on the safety and nine times out of 10, you'll beat that safety with the, the deep post route. Also has success against cover four drop, which is the last defense uh, we're going to go over. So let's go and let's pick cover four drop contain. Now cover four is very unique because this is the only play where you're going to target a different route. You're going to motion the, the X route here this time, put the X route on the streak and block the A route. And you're going to see how now the B route gets behind cover four because for whatever reason, this uh, safety here really reacts more to the streak than he does the crossing around his area. And there's nothing pulling the cornerback back. So that's a very easy one play touchdown against cover four. But like I said, it's very different. There's This is the only time that we're targeting the B route. So I'll go ahead do it one more time i'm also running a short side which i think is important once again uh but you can see i mean this guy just gets completely uncovered making this you know like i said a really glitchy play as i run out of bounds a really glitchy play against just about every single defense we're going to try it to the wide side one time just to see if it matters because to be honest with you i'm not 100 sure as you can see right here the b route here once again just gets right past it so the cover four play you can really run from anywhere on the field short side or wide side and it's a very easy one play touchdown. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. If you guys wanna see more glitchy pass plays out of the Saints or more from this formation, I can do an entire breakdown of this offensive formation, which for right now will only be on my Patreon in my eBooks and in my Join Now community tab. So if you wanna check that out, go ahead and you know, links in the description. But if you guys wanna see more, hit the like button and I'll try to put that out at a later date. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.